So, Phil, what do you think it is to be a disciple? Well, I think to be a disciple is when someone comes to know Jesus and ask Jesus to come into their life. And I think a disciple is, is someone that's willing to be taught, to let the Holy Spirit teach them. Yeah. yeah. And I think when you think about it, the Bible says that, you know, that when we come to know Jesus, he gives us a new heart, takes our stubborn heart out, gives us a heart of flesh, puts his spirit within us. We become the righteousness of God. So when you think of all these things, it's, it's quite incredible, really, that there is something going on inside of us yeah. that we fully don't fully understand. So I think as a disciple, just like the disciples in Jesus's time, Jesus said, follow me. And they called him teacher. Yeah. That's really? right. Yeah. Of course, now that what that was then, but now he lives in us. Yes. Yeah. So we don't follow him anymore. He actually goes with us. Yeah, that's right. And a bit like joining a college, you yeah. know, you sign up to the course, but yeah. then you've got a you you actually got to commit to be taught. You've actually yeah. got to commit to learn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you you don't move anywhere. No, that's right. I think sometimes we can be a little bit arrogant, thinking we know it all, and actually we don't. Yeah. You know, we're all learning. We're all on a journey. Yes, we are. And yeah. I think you know. It's like it says, come yeah. to Jesus or come to the Father like a little child. You've got to have a child heart, which basically says, I'm willing to be taught and learn. I don't necessarily know all. No, that's right. But I think you've hit the nail on the head there. It's we have to be willing. Yeah. We have to be willing to be taught. Yeah. We have to be willing to learn more. Yes. Yeah. About our faith. Yeah. About how we can actually obey the teachings yeah yeah and 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 look after yeah. others love other people as yeah. jesus taught us that's right and i think i think at the end of the day if we've got the father and the son living in our physical bodies which he calls the temple it's the house where i want to live it doesn't matter where we go in life we're carrying the presence and the father with us mm. you can't get no closer to god than you are now no that's you right. can't get closer to him no. How much closer can you get? That's why he said, I stick closer to you than a brother. Mm. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. When you think of that, you haven't got a worry in the world, really, if you know you're really carrying the, the presence of God with you. And it's that presence within you that wants to do the ministry. Yeah, <laughs> it know? is. Yeah. So it's your willing heart, really. Yeah, that, that's that's right. right. To, yes. to move forward. Yeah. Just to touch people and bless people, but it's it's the it's the Son, it's the Holy Spirit in you that's that's gonna do that. Yeah. It's 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 easy, isn't it? He said, What is it? He said, My yoke is not heavy, my burden's light. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's you easy. don't do it on your own. No, it's just him working through you. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes we've got to get ourselves out of the way <laughs> to let him do his own job. Yeah. Which that's is right. you know. Yeah. No, it starts well. So it starts from the yes, I want to believe in you. Yeah. And then it continues for the rest of your life. That's right. Because you're always going to be a student. That's right. You're always going to learn and you've got to be open to that. Mm. Amen to that. Amen. Yeah. Great stuff.